It's 12 p.m. Approximately, I don't have a watch. They're still asleep. They've been out for 26 hours and 13 minutes. We found him by the lake, unconscious. He hasn't been awake since. They, I mean. So, I'm going to wait for them to wake up. Hmm. Actually, I'm a bit impatient today. I don't think I'm going to wait. I'm going to try something. This smell do the trick. And now we wait. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I know you're probably confused. So, uh, I found you by the lake. Well, it wasn't me, but uh, it was the people I work with. And uh, you were unconscious, had a gas on your head, passed you up already. Yeah, I, I know it probably hurts still. But um, before you ask your questions, I have a few for you. Mm, they might seem kind of random and arbitrary but uh there it's important that you answer to the best of your ability okay first off do you do you feel nauseous lightheaded dizzy you do out of 10 how nauseous do you feel okay how dizzy do you feel And you have a migraine, right? Spotty vision. Yeah. Do you, this is kind of an odd one, but do you have, do you smell burnt hair? Yeah, you do. And your vision. Are you kind of seeing things with the yellowish tint to them? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you recognize this item? You don't know what it is. Okay. I expected that much. Okay. I am. Um, I'm gonna test something. sure it looks unfamiliar to you but uh, just cooperate with me and I'll answer your questions okay hmm That was a radiation detector. Okay. Well, mm, I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay. You familiar with 101 Dalmatians, yeah? Okay. So, um, how, uh, 
How is the villain Cruella de Vil's, how is her name spelled? Like this? Okay. Thanks. You seen Star Wars, maybe? Yeah, okay. In the infamous line where Darth Vader and Luke are having their conversation, what does Darth Vader say? No, I am your father. Or Luke, I am your father. He says Luke, okay. And, um, you familiar with the shoes, Skechers? Do you know how they spell Skechers? How Skechers is spelled? This way? Okay. And the candy bar Kit Kat, the chocolate. You like chocolate? Okay, good, me too. It, how is Kit Kat spelled? Huh, so there's a dash in it. Okay. And when you hear the color chartreuse, you think in pink or green? Pink. Huh, that's interesting. Okay. So, uh, all the, you know, the cards you just read off of, I just showed you. Um, so, uh, all those answers you gave me are wrong, incorrect. I know, I know you're probably still confused, probably panicking a little bit, uh, but, um, have you ever heard of this term Mandela effect? Yeah, okay. So basically, I'll also explain it. Mandela effect is pretty much when people remember an event, movie, whatever, in a way that's different from reality. And it's a, a large group of people. It's not just one or two, but it's a lot of people who remember something one way, but it's totally different. So, uh... You might just think that's kind of like a psychological phenomenon or something like that. But it kind of has a more interesting implication nowadays. Yeah. Uh, so, normally when people experience Mandela effects now, it means that they've, they're in the wrong place. By wrong place, I mean the wrong dimension. And you, my friend, you're, this is Dimension 7. Based off the answers you've given me, I think you're either from Dimension 3 or 1. Yeah. I know, it's, it sounds crazy. But I'm telling the truth. So. We're going to have to find a way to send you back home. It's very rare for this to happen. Um, a lot of people aren't even aware of uh, these multiple dimensions. We don't know how many they are, but there have been nine confirmed. And we have to find a way to get you home. It's a great feat that you even ended up crossing over on your own by accident. It's almost a miracle, actually. But um, we're going to take care of you. If you need any more proof, uh, just look around this room. I'm pretty sure I have things you don't even recognize, so they probably don't exist in your, uh, your dimension. Okay. I'm gonna have to give you a shot. Yeah. If I were you, I'd take the shot. All right.
Um, open your mouth for me. Colleagues, gonna come in, get a better look at you, give you a rundown, and we'll start making preparations to get you back home to your dimension. Normally, we uh, we erase people's memories before we send them back. If this happens, which is very rare, or they keep their memories and um, we employ them. So, I like you, so um, I'm going to give you two options. A, you wake up at home, in bed, massive headache, no memory, at least of the last 36 hours. Or, you keep your memory, you work with us, and your family stays safe. And before you answer, I want to tell you, uh, I like you, as I said, and it's best not to disappoint the only person who likes you in the room. You get me? So, while you think about that, I'm going to step out, give you space to think. All right.